knowing the AC equivalent circuit of our desired amplifier circuit. Right? We are now able to see that how this AC signal will be distributed amongst the components seen by this supply right now before we go further we can simplify this circuit these two resistances have both the terminals common so these resistances are behaving as a single resistance value of which will be equal to the parallel combination of these two resistances right these two resistances are parallel behaving parallel as far as this ac equivalent circuit is concerned right so we can simplify this ac equivalent circuit to this circuit right so both of these would be same right so now the ac signal is distributed amongst the loops component right so we already know we uh, if we are having a single supply distributed among multiple loops we can find the values of voltages and currents about that loops by using kirchhoff's voltage and current loss right so the components experiencing only dc or only ac signal will not be affected by other signal so currently we are having no such component which is experiencing only the single source but we must be knowing the rule the components experiencing both dc and ac signals as is the case in this circuit have ac quantities superimposed on dc quantities right for example for our desired amplifier this was the dc equivalent circuit right and this is the ac equivalent circuit right and we have computed the value of vbe right we have found vb we have found ve we have found vbe right and here as well we can find the value of vb value of ve value of vbe right for ac signal right for ac signal so this is a pure ac signal this is a pure dc signal but when we apply both the signals together in our amplifier this terminal will be having both of these signals right so this ac signal the meaning of this sentence is this ac signal is varying not around zero right peak zero peak it is actually varying around this dc value because we have to add it using superposition law right so this is the meaning of this sentence so we are now having a total vbe dc plus ac vbe right so it means the base emitter junction takes ac voltages small vbe superimposing on dc capital vbe thus has a sum of voltages here right when both of these supplies work together so we are having this right so what will happen to this transistor how it will behave to this variation right and then we can find the currents and voltages at this side and ultimately we can found the value of we can find the value of v out right similar will be the case for the base current right 
DC current set by this DC supply, then the AC variations will through a through an AC current, and both of these currents superimposed together to have a total base current varying in nature because of this AC variations, right? So transistor will behave from its basic equation, right? Which is this one, right? We know that, but remember, currently we are neglecting the early effect. We can use it, but for simplicity, at least for the computations, understanding of the computations, once we are neglecting it, right? Otherwise, we would be having a term related to VCE as well, right? So now, our total AC, total collector current will be depending on the total base to emitter voltage and total base to emitter voltage is consisting of a dc voltage set by this dc supply and ac voltage set by this ac supply right so we can put this here right and we'll get this right so computationally we can distribute it to a separate form for your understanding in this slide, I am using red color for the DC component of the signal, right? And I am using blue color besides using small letters for AC components of the parameter, right? Now, what is this? Is it not the DC collector current, right? only dc vbe so we are having only DC according to this equation right so this equation for total so this will be the equation for dc collector current only right so we can put instead of this the dc collector current here right we can further simplify it we can expand this exponential right from a series right so now if this VBE is less than this VT, is much lesser than VT, then this component would be small but is still considerable, but this one and this one and other higher order terms will be very small and can be neglected, right? So if we neglect these things, what we are having only? these two components 1 plus VBE upon VT multiplied by this IC the DC collector current right so we are having this one right so when I multiply IC with this one and this one as well I will get this one so for a small signal we have actually converted this non-linear exponential parameter to a linear one right on we are having a linear equation and one more thing to be noted here is that the ac signal you can see it means this total collector current is actually compro comprising of dc collector current and ac collector current so dc collector current is the same right okay so this is the ac collector current and you can see this ac collector current is obviously depending on the acvb right similar to the dc collector current depending on only dcvb right so acvbe and linearly for a small signal right but this ac e collector current is depending on vbe where about the dc biasing right so it means for different dc biased collector current you can get different ac collector current for the same base to emitter input ac signal right for the same input signal right so this is the ac part and it is about the biasing point 
so let's go further so it means a small signal ac vbe superimposed on the dc voltage dc vbe said by this dc supply and gives rise to a collector signal current signal current means ac signal this is our signal right Resides signal to be amplified right with small i small c superimposed on the dc bias current the i c capital right so you can see we had set a DC VBE, we had set a DC IC. But when we apply this input AC signal and according to the AC equivalent circuit, part of this input AC VI signal is making an AC VBE, right? This AC VBE, right? Which is actually superimposing on this DC VBE. So actually, the total VBE will be the summation of these two things and it is actually the total one is changing right so will be the current right so it means we are having an ac collector current superimposed on the dc collector current set by dc by right so it means the total current is changing right you can see you can have a total value here 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 anytime right but if you want only the ac one this total actually will give you after subtracting with this tot the the dc value will give you the ac pure ac right so this graph is very important in fact all of these graphs are very important because these are compact in nature and provide you all the AC and DC quantities for the components for which the plot is drawn so it means varying VBE will give you a varying collector current right note one more time that keeping the signal amplitude sufficiently small vbe less than less than vt the operation is restricted to an almost linear segment of the ic vbe exponential curve right we got a linear relation instead of an exponential relation when we actually used a small value right so this is actually we can see clearly here that for a small variations small variations small ac vbe the movement of this q point movement of q point means variation of this total right Q point only for the DC value but when a total is achieved after adding the DC and AC values of the parameter this Q point is moving and for small variations this Q point will move for an almost linear segment so that is why we actually able to truncate the exponential relation with this one right we have truncated all the high order terms for the exponential and have only a linear relation so this relation is valid for a small vb right otherwise you have to go back one step and take the same exponential relation right so now you have found the dc parameters right you are able to draw an AC equivalent circuit and now you are at the stage of finding AC VBE we have not found it yet but we are able to find VBE by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law and once it is found we can find the collector current right?